I just got out of the tub. I'm a little warm from the bath and my skin's a little red and blotchy for me washing it using a washcloth. But I'm going to do my first mask from the month of February. So there will be three masks in this video and up first will be ginseng. Um, as per usual, the first thing on the calendar says to take a, um, a clean face photo fresh face selfie it says and tag um, boutique it says hashtag before mask maven and then the first mask well it says you can use any mask of your choice the first one I'm going to use is ginseng and then it says did you know besides smelling great vanilla is known for its anti-aging effects I did not know that antioxidants in the extract extract help reduce wrinkles and heal damaged skin and it says, pro tip, three-step masks are perfect to take away for a long weekend getaway. They usually include a cleanser, ampoule, don't know what that is still, and a sheet mask. The three most necessary steps in skincare. Well, if it's the second most necessary step and I don't know what it is, we have a problem. I'll look it up. All right. So, the ginseng on the package here, it just says ginseng. Here's the brand is Skin Food. And then on the back, um, it says a beauty food mask sheet that moisturizes and nourishes aging skin to make it healthy. After cleansing, use a toner to refine skin texture. Place mask on entire face, avoiding eyes and lips. After about 10 to 20 minutes, remove the sheet and lightly pat to absorb remaining essence. And let's see if there's anything else here. So it's going to boost skin's production of collagen. This popular sheet mask firms and nourishes dry, rough skin. So, let's get into it. When I think ginseng, for some reason, I think ginger. And that's not the same thing. But, whatever. It's what I think. Okay. So, I've opened it. You can peek inside. Ooh. It kind of smells like grass. Now, there is plenty of juiciness here Whoop, that just fell on the floor, so I guess I'll rub my feet in it. I usually like to take just a little bit off the drippiness of the mask and rub it on my face first. It gives it, the mask something to adhere to and make sure it gets everywhere on my face because the mask is not touching all the surfaces. It appears to be just a plain face mask. I don't have any instructions. They're like, the holes are for your eyes and nose. So this is going on and like sticking on so much better than the one I did in the girls night. So if you haven't seen that one, it was the, it was like, it had the number 35 in it or something, I don't know. It's a fun video, but this mask is so much better compared to that one. Okay, so here we are, super pretty. I'm going to take the rest of the essence left in the bag and Rub that in. Let's see, it said it was going to firm things, so I'll focus right underneath here, and I'll continue to add to my face. And I'll see you in 20 minutes. Okay, well, it's been 17 and a half minutes, and I'm going to take it off because dinner's ready. Um, while I was sitting here, it was kind of stinging right here on this side, and I'm not really sure why, so let's just see. I thought maybe it would be red, but it's not. Sometimes... My face just stings, so I'm not too worried about it. I'm going to rub this in. I did like cover from here to here also in the remaining essence. It feels good. It smells good. Um, yeah. You know, just, I mean, I don't know if you can tell anything right now, but it just kind of feels like special. So I've kind of been feeling down 
lately of just all the mom stuff. And so this does feel like something that is just for me. It's, it's a little thing, but it makes me happy and helps me feel like Ellie rather than mom all the time. So um, I will check back in tomorrow and we can see how beautiful I am after I put on my makeup. Bye, guys. So I really enjoyed the ginseng skin food face mask. Um, here's my face the next day after I've done my makeup. And I have to say I really enjoyed this face mask, but I wouldn't use it in the morning before you put your makeup on because um, I used it last night, and even this morning my skin still felt like a little like dewy almost. So um, it was a couple hours after I'd been up before I put my makeup on. But I, this one really did feel like a treat. I love this, and I would absolutely buy it again. So mask number two for this video is the Yet Don't Worry Mask Sheet Be My Love Mask, and it's the one that says shimmering in parentheses. If something in here doesn't sparkle, I'm going to be disappointed, and it's their fault. Before we open it, let's read the information card. It says, this honey sheet mask will leave your skin soft and glowing. Rich in amino acids, vitamins, and minerals, honey is known for its ability to cleanse and tone the skin. Effectively cleans and clears blemishes and impurities. So I have washed my face this morning. I think I'm as clean as I'm going to get. And I have a little facial serum on there. So I'm going to pull my hair back. So this package is hilarious. The little, well, and Valentine's Day is tomorrow. So maybe it's kind of fitting. She looks like Cupid, but in bumblebee form. Um... The title is the only thing in English on the front, and absolutely nothing on the back. Cute, very helpful images there. Wash your face, put the mask on, pat your face. And you be beautiful. Okay, let's look inside. Do you see shimmer? I don't see shimmer. Yeah. Well, I mean, I guess my skin better shimmer then. Woo! Again, lots of lovely juice. I'm just going to squeeze a little bit of it into my hand. Oh, um, put it on my face. Ooh. Oh, it smells like honey. So that's good. It smells nice. Let's see if I can unwrap this. So just a plain white mask. I shouldn't complain. But I'm very excited for one to have a fun pattern on it. Woo, it's cold. Alright, I'm going to leave this on for 15 minutes and I will get back to you. So pretty, so pretty. So it's been about 20 minutes. Let's take it off. Um, this mask felt good. It felt really nice. Um, there was plenty of product for sure. And it smells beautiful. So we'll just let this soak in and then hopefully after I do my makeup we'll see a difference. Okay, so here I am. What do you think? Um, it's up to you to decide if you think my skin looks better. I absolutely enjoyed this mask from the funny packaging to the smell, how it felt on my face. And then, yeah, I feel like I've done something special for my skin today. If you think my hair looks a little extra luscious today, it's because I used the Shea Moisture Argan Oil and Almond Milk Smooth and Tame Shampoo and Blowout Cream. I got that product in my complimentary Fierce Vox Box from Influencer. if you want to see that unboxing. I'll attempt to link it down below. I've never actually linked anything. We'll see if I manage it. So this is the Yet Don't Worry Mask Sheet. Be my love. Let's try the next one. It's got tigers on it. It's tiger time. <laughs> so I'm looking at my animal tiger warming eye mask and looking around here and 
like first of all, this thermometer thing is cracking me up. But then look, it's got it's got like when or where you could use it, and I don't understand. Like I get that you could use it on an airplane, but I do think that would freak people out. I get that you can use it at night, but why is there a book and a TV screen? Like, how are you gonna read or watch TV with an eye mask on? Anyway. This does scare me a little bit because it's warming. Um, thankfully, there is English on the back. And so, I also got to thinking, like, when I think about eyes and, and puffiness and that kind of stuff, I always think that cooler is better. Um, so, I was just thinking, why would I want to do this? So, it says, this eye mask relaxes dry and fatigued eyes with the delicate warmth at about 41.5 degrees Celsius. Lasts and leaves eyes feeling comfortable. The maximum temperature is 45 degrees Celsius. Lasting warmth for 20 minutes. So it says, tells you how to put it and then that not to use it if you're using eye drops. Um, if the room's cold, it might not get as warm, might not last as long. And then if stuff hurts, stop using it. So... Um, it is Valentine's Day. The My older kids just got home from school and they're all down there like eating candy. So <laughs> I might be able to manage 20 minutes without getting interrupted. So let's check it out. I am excited about the tigers. Okay, so there's no like juiciness. But look how, oh, is it? There we go. Look how cute. So you just, it hooks around your ears, so this is attached right here in the back, and you rip that. Okay, so it's kind of like a sleep mask, I guess, and here's the other side. Did you do something to it to make it get warm? Does your body heat activate it? Said not to press on it. All right, well, I'm just going to put this on my eyes and see what happens. So it goes around your ears. Oh, my head's too big. This is problematic. Ah. Okay. Do I look good? I can't tell. I mean, it feels a little bit warm. Honestly, it just hurts my ears. I guess it would have to be tight to hold pressure under your eyes. This doesn't work. I can't set the timer. It is getting warm. Alright, I'll check back in 20 minutes. Okay, so I've been sitting here for 20 minutes, and I asked Siri, what is 41 degrees Celsius? What does that equal in Fahrenheit? And apparently it's 105 degrees, so it's not that much hotter. Um, the mask was not, like, uncomfortable. But, I mean, do you think it did anything? It's just a little bit warmer than a fever. It's cute. And I was thinking as I was laying here, like, what, when would I do this? Other than just laying in my bed. And I have a flight coming up in July that's going to be really long. And, like, I, I will consider taking something like this. Because I do kind of feel good, but it's like, when you're outside and it's hot, and then you come into an air-conditioned room and you feel good. So, like, I feel like the cool at this moment feels good. The heat was a little bit comforting, I guess, but I need to... Hang on, I'm going to look up how much this costs individually. So, this costs close to $3. I wouldn't pay $3 for this. I can get the same thing from a warm washcloth. But it's cute, so that makes me want to like it. If you guys haven't yet, go ahead and hit that red button and subscribe. 
Um, give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment. What do you think? What do you think about the cutie pie tigers? Was that a waste of money? <sighs> Probably so.